project was about uh, sustainable supply chain management at the Airbus within the Airbus, Airbus Defence and Space section. That looked at how can they grow the business through the supply chain over the course of the KTP and beyond, um, and therefore um, how can that enhance not just Airbus but the wider supply chain community and the local economy. The KTP for us, I think, was a was a really valuable experience. We've been able to access. A, a viewpoint and a way of thinking that we were not able to do before. I mean, this, this academic insight that we get, uh, I think, is, has been really valuable for us. So it's given us a, a few tools to challenge the way that we're doing things. So we explored um, sustainability of Airbus's supply chain in terms of their approach to category management, which was a new procurement strategy that they'd um, recently implemented. We also looked at the second work stream, which was their uh, processes around vendor appraisal and approval. And the third work stream looked more specifically at the issue of sustainability in terms of environmental and social responsibility. We could then go back to the academic literature, go back to what we consider to be best practice and say, well, these were the gaps, these were the ways in which we think that you could improve the sustainability of your operations. The, the project started at a time where there was a lot of dynamic change going on for Airbus. Uh, those changes did, uh, however, uh, present us with opportunities in you know, other areas to look at and actually pinpointed some key development tools which seemed to add more value for the company. And, and for us it means that we now have a mechanism to be able to bid on contracts that we would not have been able to do. And some of these are very big contracts that are critical to the future of our company. We probably spend something like 700 million euros with suppliers each year. If we can just improve our interaction by 1%, and I think the work that we've done will do more than that, but if we could just by 1%, if, if we improve our competitiveness, if we save 7 million, and half of that is passed on to our customers because we're making more competitive bids, and half of it is, is EBIT for ourselves, well, we've just made 3.5 million on, I mean, uh, what is a very modest investment. And I suspect the return will be more than that. I think the KTP offers a really good vehicle for um, interacting with industry. It offers an opportunity for the academic or the academic institution to develop new knowledge with access to a practical empirical context in which they can explore that knowledge. In terms of industry, it, it obviously um, represents an opportunity to, to, to gain that new knowledge and to use it for business and commercial impact. Um, but also for the associate, as I was an associate myself, it offers an opportunity to explore both sides of the, co of the coin um, and to help you to make an informed decision about what you want to go on to do. The benefits of the university um, are, are, are probably uh, two or threefold. Uh, we are able to enhance our teaching and learning materials uh, where possible around non-confidential material that we could use. Airbus is an example. It enhanced our uh, reputation with the students and the wider business community. And of course the third thing is the, um, the ability to add to our uh, research capability and the fact that we're able to produce papers jointly or individually. Uh, so the University of South Wales was, uh, was absolutely critical in the process. Obviously they were the, the key part. And it was, uh, I mean, I, I can honestly say it was a pleasure to deal with uh, in all of the interactions that we had, they were very professional, the, the quality of the meetings and the work, the preparation to that, and the University of South Wales worked, uh, worked very well with us. Mm -hmm.